On the road this morning, the temperatures are about to rise, which means it's a good time to relax by the water. Yes, indeed. There are many options living in the ocean state, but don't forget the lakes. This morning, Michaela is out live in Burrowville at Spring Lake, where she is soaking up the sun after yesterday's storms. Spring Hill Lake offers all types of activities for some summer fun. So, Michaela, tell me, what's it like out there today? I'll tell you what, it is beautiful. Actually, just outside those doors, we have a wonderful view of the lake, which we'll show you in just a bit. But we want to start at the beginning with a little history with some classic games. John Bateman is here. He's the owner of Spring Lake here in Burrowville. And we are in, uh, like I said, a fantastic piece of history. Tell us about it. Thank you. Spring Lake Arcade is the world's oldest penny arcade. Um, we call it that because it's a, it's a penny arcade where you can always come in and spend pennies. Since 1931, uh, it's been here. And actually, some of the original machines are still here. Sounds great. And we're actually going to take you through and play some of them right now. Um, starting with these that you said date back to kind of the beginning in a way. This, these are from the 1930s, uh, early 40s. Mm -hmm. um, this actual machine was, um, uh, was a duplicate of a machine that was here originally. Okay. Um, I was able to find it. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to play this one that's called the sex appeal meter. We're starting off real strong, guys. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Tick, tick, tick. I th overrated. I think it said overrated. <laughs> you know what, John? <laughs> Let's move along to the next game. What else do we have down here? Okay. You want to play the uh, the soccer game? Sure. Oh my gosh! It looks like uh, an original foosball. Although they almost look like they're doing the can can, right? Pretty cool. The ball is out there. We're gonna give that a swift kick as it makes its way. This is really probably where foosball all started. This, Fun this little is, game. This is actually from the 1920s, and it was originally, whoa, you almost got me. Uh, it was originally on the beach before the Penny Arcade. Wow. Um, and the owner of the arcade ended up buying it from the people that, that had it on the mm -hmm. beach because he had all of the games. All right, now we're going to get to one of my favorites. Come on, let's move our way down. Actually, Will would probably enjoy that little centipede action there. But I see a candy machine, and I love candy. John was telling me earlier that the kids would line up for this one. This, this was um, probably the most popular machine at the arcade mm -hmm. uh, when I first put it in. Uh, before we went to ticket games. All right, let's throw a coin in there. This one is 10 cents. You need to aim it first. Okay. So aim it to the front. To the front. See what it says, and it says front there? Oh, okay, and yep. I'm going to put penny, uh, the dime in. And here we go. Let's see if we're going to get anything. Well, I think we're going to have to go to the corner. So close. You missed. I missed. You I'm missed. not good at this game. All right, for the sake of time, John, let's keep moving along because we got a classic over here, and that is ski ball. We're walking past all the pinball machines, making our way to ski ball. What do you think? Can we play? Sure, let's go. Got to love that sound. All right, let's give it a toss here. Oh, we got a little battle, John is on my right. Let's see who's going to get the highest score. I love a good game like this. I'll tell you what, you can go back in time when you come to Spring Lake. They have all the classic games. They have some new ones as well. Hey, 50 points. Woohoo! Very nice. We're going to take you out to the beach in just a moment. And then, John, there are plenty of new games on the other side, right? I, I beat you. Great. I beat you. Yep. Starting off really strong. First from overrated on the sex appeal machine I to won, this one. I won more tickets. We're going to win some more tickets in just a bit and take you to the lake. Stay tuned. It is time now to go back out on the road, and what a day it is outside to enjoy the warmth and the water. We are having some fun out on Spring Lake in Barville this morning, and let me tell you, it looks like Spring Lake is a cool spot to check out this summer. It's a great place for the kids to have fun with docks, concessions, and yes, even a water slide. Michaela, I'm wondering, do you think they would let me go down the water slide? You tell me. <laughs> I don't think so, because they're made for very little kids. However, I know you're not a thrill seeker, Brendan, so I'm sure this is the water slide that you could tackle. One thing that you're going to want this weekend is a little relief from all of that heat. So come here to Spring Lake. It's a beautiful location. Put it on your Rhode Island bucket list, guys. This is, I'm checking it off of mine. I've never been here before. A lifelong Rhode Islander, and uh, I'm experiencing something new today, and you can as well. Andrea is joining me now, and actually, I'm going to match her with her shades because it is <laughs> picture perfect out here. I'm sure you're expecting a busy weekend with a lot of families. Yes, uh, July 4th week is our busiest week, and it's going to be hot, so there will be a lot of people. So bring your family and come to Spring Lake.
Uh, one thing that you're going to want to do is spend a lot of time here in the water. Great for families. We were mentioning anytime you're on a lake, you don't have to worry about those crashing waves. It's going to be a great environment. Yep, we have a lot. We have a lot to do. We have paddle boards, kayaks, um, water slide, inflatable bouncy house. We have snack shack. We have a lot to do. Mm hmm. Yeah. Further down the way, you can see the the snack shack and also um, some new additions like games and and a giant water slide. Water slide and a bouncy house. The bouncy house is new this year. Um, we have ping pong tables, volleyball, um, cornhole, mm -hmm. all kinds of things for the family. This is really, like we said, a family-friendly destination, especially this weekend. But I know for families, whenever they're packing up their bag, um, you may forget something. <laughs> and you guys have recognized that. We do. We have a store which carries everything from pails, shovels, sunblocks, swimmy diapers, towels, everything that you could need. Perfect. Now, how does it work? If it, people have never come here before, do we have to pay to park? Do what, How does it happen when we come in? There's no fee for parking. Mm -hmm. um, it's $6 a person for non-residents and $3 for residents. So very, very affordable yes. if you want to take your whole family here. And I was noticing, I know the rain came through yesterday, but the beach is in perfect condition. It is. It's really nice. It was raked this morning. The beach manager took care of that. We have an excellent beach manager who has been um, really helpful with a lot of the changes that have improved the beach. And we're just seeing a, a view of the playground area over there as well and a couple different options in terms of those boat rentals that you mentioned before. Yep, we have uh, paddle boats, paddle boards and kayaks. So perfect, something for everyone. And just take a look at this remarkable view. If you're lucky enough to be able to live on uh, Spring Lake, you're certainly made out. But even if you're just watching from sitting on the beach, you'll see a lot of excitement. Boaters, uh, maybe some people fishing. Exactly. Everybody does all kinds of fun things at the, at the lake. And you see a lot of residents and people from all over Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. So it will definitely be a hot spot this weekend. Literally and figuratively, it's going to be jammed here. Make sure you come down to Spring Spring Lake. We're going to head back inside the arcade in just a bit. We saw us play some of the older games, then we hopped outside. Then we're going to go back inside and play some new games because um, I need a little redemption with John. <laughs> Andrea, thank you so much thank for you. joining us. So don't forget to take your family here. Get a little relief from all that heat happening this weekend, guys. Hey, thanks, guys. I'll tell you what, the lights are flashing, the music's going. We are experiencing some of the newer games on the opposite end of the arcade. All right, John, let's start this one up. What are we playing, and what's the object of the game? This is called Iceman. It's, uh, it's our newest addition this year, and you have to shoot water at zombies. All right, let's see if we can freeze them. We're going to hit the start. Wow, there's actual water coming out of here. That's right. If you hit a certain target, you'll get a large stream of water coming out. But, um, there it, uh -oh. Whoa, what's here comes the here? water and the steam. I don't know what's going on. There it is. You got the target. So. Hey, this is a fun one. This is one of the many games on this side, though. So we're going to get up and go experience another one as that one, the zombies keep attacking us. John, what's next? Oh, uh, we'll try Monster Drop. That's a, that's one that we can do quick for television. <laughs> we just, what you're trying to do is, is uh, go for the jackpot target down there. Okay, so I control when the ball from the top will drop. And, okay, wait, the jackpot's coming back around. Let's see if I can time it just right. Oh, so close. Where will it stop? Nobody knows. But look at all the tickets we won on this earlier. I think I'm going to get a snazzy new prize in just a little bit. We're going to bring them with us. And then to How another Disney game. Chicken? Disney Chicken's a fun game. It's all 100% skill. And what you have to do is hit the ball and try to get it where the green light is. So if you get the green light, you get the highest score and you get a bonus shot. Cool. The green light says 1,000 tickets. So let's see how well we can do. I'm going to drape these around my neck here. There you go. All righty. Oh, come on, come on, Dizzy Chicken. Oh. I thought you practiced. So, well, I was trying to practice earlier. We, we are getting loads and loads of tickets here. I think I should cash them in and, and get a really great prize. What do you think, John? Come on over. I'll show you all the prizes and we can... Uh... Okay, let's see. Hmm. We have a little have pool ball. Estimate how many you won today because uh, we don't have time to do the, the eat up the tickets. But 
I'm seeing something cool over there. Can I have that little hand? The hand? A little claw hand. I'm going to give him all my tickets in exchange for that. What are you going to do with this hand? What am I going to do with that? Well, I'm, I'm going to wave goodbye to our viewers, That's John, because we are about out of time for this segment. So, goodbye. Make sure you come back to Spring Lake and check out all the great games.